tailbone under, round the back and hold onto the backs of the thighs. Tuck the chin in. So you're in a rounded flex position in the spine. Take a nice deep breath in towards the back of your body. So a full inflation. And on an exhalation, draw up through the pelvic floor and raise the feet from the ground. So you're in that rounded position, but now feet are lifted. Breathing into the back of the body again. And as you breathe out with high tone through the pelvic floor, press the back of the thighs into the hands, the hands into the thighs, and start to lower the body to the ground. Back of the neck long, legs are in a tabletop position. Float the arms up into the air, arms up, little fingers up, thumbs down, open the heart. Do this a few more times. So it's cat cow, but you've got those spiraling arms. One more flexion. And from this flex position, come to a nice natural center position, but arms are still like a T. So you're going to shift the weight to the left side and lengthen through the right leg. Then you're going to shift the weight to the center, arms float up, leg is raised and it comes to the center. Circling the leg around, right side, arms T, arms up, leg center. So wherever you want to be, you be. And you can have the arms just resting if you want to. To come into a stronger balance, Put some tone up through the pelvic floor. Pick up the right foot, bend the left knee a little more and bring the foot to the outside of the lower leg or wrap it around. So that left foot should be turning in, which, will, which won't compromise the knee. The knee's more compromised if the foot is facing forwards. Undoing the arms as you bring the arms down, straighten through the legs and release that left foot back to the floor. Lovely. Lovely. Now you're going to pivot to your left. So you untwist the legs. Now you might want to, you've got the right foot in front, the left foot behind, you're in a scissor stance. Not a deep wide stance. So we're kind of going to come into pars bottanasana. Pars Bhattanasana. Think about the three, tri the three corners of the triangle of the feet, center heel, ball of foot, the root of the foot below the little toe, ground through those corners. Rolling down again, lead with an exhalation, nod the head, roll down, pubic bone tucked, high tone through pelvic floor. Keep the legs long but not locked. Brick spine the earth. From this rounded position, turn the sit bones up, lengthen through abdomen, breastbone, back of the neck long. And just find yourself in a nice center position as you lower the arms. And I'm gonna unmute you. <laughs> How's everybody? <laughs> Any questions? Because we've got to do that to the other side. So just letting go of the count. Letting the count of your breath float away. It might be that you choose to take a deep breath in and sigh it out, just to again alter the breath, letting it return back to where it wants to be. And before you come to sitting, just check in with yourself, just notice how your physical body feels whether those thoughts that you put to the back of your head have come to the forefront, front, forefront, 
but I can't speak, forefront of your mind, or whether they're still just kind of in the background. Maybe some of them have gone, not, they weren't important anyway. And just stretch through the body, um, take your time to come up to sitting. 